dimension reality orientation. A lot of times they may say things that just don't make sense, that just don't fit into our reality. A lot of times when I would sit down and I would talk to my grandfather who had Alzheimer's, he loved my dogs. He absolutely adored my dogs, but he had moved along in his dementia. So he was back at a time where I actually had a different dog than I do now. So we'd be sitting and talking and maybe one of the new dogs would even be in front of him and he would say, how is Sparky? That Sparky is so smart. What is he up to? What is he doing right now? Sparky is not there and that's okay. Because at that time, my grandfather was interested, he was happy, and he was engaged. So if I would have done reality orientation, which is simply bringing somebody back to our reality, the real reality, if I would have said, Grandpa, that's not Sparky, that's Monty. Sparky died. Remember, he died about a year ago. Remember how sad we were? That was a really tough time. Why in the heck would you want to do that to your loved one? It's going to make them feel sad. It's going to make them feel embarrassed. They are going to experience that loss all over again. And then are they going to remember it in 5, 10, 15 minutes? Probably not. So instead, we use validation. We enter their world. And I simply said, Sparky is doing great. Look at him. He's handsome. He's happy. He's rolling around on the floor. What is your favorite thing about Sparky? It's okay to do that. You are meeting them where they are at. You're entering their reality and you're making them feel good and you're continuing that conversation. So I always encourage you to use validation instead of reality orientation.